welcome to our channel and we want to welcome you to one of our videos that was very requested from your side about our travel expense during our 18 months uh, travel through Central Asia and South Asia. So welcome and stay tuned because we're gonna tell you all about the countries we visited, how much we spent in every country, what type of categories we have over there and we're gonna give you the total amount of the money we spent. Yes, uh, full disclaimer, this couple of days, this past week actually, the weather was pretty bad and we could not do much, we could not go outside because it was raining. Nevertheless, we, there was a sweet spot, I would say, of a couple of hours when the sun was shining and we went to the post office to get our package back from Kyrgyzstan, which is a whole different story, <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway. And yeah, we decided to do this video because, as Gigi said, a lot of you guys requested this. So without further ado, let's see how much t money we spent for six... Without further ado, let's see how much money we spent on 18 months traveling the world. Yeah. So we wanted to tell you that we've been traveling for the past one year and a half uh, through Central Asia and South Asia and that included countries like uh, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Iran, Kyrgyzstan, Iran, Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan and Pakistan. So. And Romania also now. <laughs> now Romania. So in every city we were in, in every country, in every place we were spending some money. We were using a specific app. Yes, the app is called uh, Travel Spend, and you can find it on the Google Play Store or on the Apple Store or wherever you want. Uh, we will put the link in the description for you to know to get it. Yeah. And it's a very useful app because you can track on the phone uh, your busy, basically your expenses and you can share it with somebody else here for example yeah. and both of us have the app on the phone and both of us can track the, uh, the expenses this way and it's more easy if one forgets the other one can do it so the thing we are not sponsored to do this kind of like a commercial or anything for travel spend is just something we really used and we were happy about it yes and we wanted to recommend it to you sure if we have something that we use and we like it we will recommend it to people for yeah. sure Definitely. Okay, so let's get started. We will keep the surprise of the total expenses for a little bit later. Yeah. So, uh, according to this application, we will split up our uh, expenses onto categories. And I think this way is going to be easier for people who are going to watch this. And we will also put some uh, chapters for this so you can jump up ahead and back and whatever you want to. First, we're gonna break it to you and we're gonna tell you that uh, the most uh, important expense we had so far in our 18 months travel was food. And that was in the total Obviously. amount of $2,842. Yes. For two people in 10 countries. Yes. And this oh. includes basically uh, restaurant foods, street food, snacks, more or less any type of food which was already prepared for us. We did splurge a little bit sometimes and we would go to some fancier restaurants just for, I don't know, for a special occasion or for, for fun. But uh, we mostly ate foods at smaller places, yeah. street food, we love street food. And we love trying new things every time we go and we travel and this is basically part of traveling. Exactly. You get to explore the cuisine of different uh, countries. countries and yes. especially the food in Iran in Kazakhstan Kyrgyzstan in, uh, in Pakistan oh my in god Pakistan yeah. yes yes that yes. was something different. the food is amazing amazing and I've, I'm very happy that the highest expense basically was food because it really shows that we really enjoyed it and we liked it yes Yes, and one more thing, while we were traveling, when we were hitchhiking, we did not have a chance to eat, I would say, we didn't have like a proper eating schedule. We would eat like something quick for breakfast early in the morning, then we would be on our way for, sometimes we would skip the breakfast, and after a long day of hitchhiking and when we would reach our destination, we would have a big healthy dinner, 
and then go to sleep and start the next day again. Exactly, and yeah, this is also how we managed to lose a lot of weight. Yes, that's why we are a little bit uh, slimmer now than we were before at the beginning. Yeah, around 15 kgs or 20 kgs. <laughs> More or less, yes. Good, uh, the next important is the topic would be transportation. Here I can tell you about transportation, we spent around $2,133, so around $2,000 roughly. Yes, uh, trans this includes also uh, planes, cars, trains, ferries, buses, whatever transportation method we used, this is the category for it. Boats, anything. Anything, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we took uh, only two planes. We took one plane from Romania to Georgia and another plane from Kyrgyzstan to Pakistan. Yeah. And we took one more plane uh, from Pakistan when we came back home. But this is not included yet into the expense because we haven't paid for it. We have to uh, get with, in contact with our embassy and see how we can sort that out. Exactly. Yes. So basically we traveled a lot by hitchhiking. Yes. And we made the countries like from north to south by hitchhiking. The only exceptions were like in Pakistan maybe when we had to go from south to north by renting a car, which was more expensive than Iran where we did the same thing. But uh, well, I mean, not by much, not countries. by much. It was a little bit different, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, uh, as Gigi pointed out, we did rent a car at one point because we would wanted to travel at our own pace. Exactly. And of course, there were some stories with, with that, but that's for another time. <laughs> yeah, there were some like really interesting stories, and I hope we will still recover some footage. From yeah, that. sure, because that is interesting. Oh my god. Anyway. So, uh, the next category would be accommodation, because this is the most important. Where did we stay? Uh, in the beginning we stayed at more or less, I would not say fancy places, but mm, more expensive places. Medium kind. Medium kind of, yeah, places. Uh, bed and breakfast type. And slowly, slowly we decided that uh, accommodation is basically just your bed, just a place where you go to sleep and it doesn't matter that much. So we ventured a little bit into, I would say, even different accommodations. Like for example, one night we spent it sleeping in a mosque because there was no uh, accommodations available in that village and we arrived very late, very, very, very late, around 12 o'clock in the night and the guy working at the mosque was nice enough and let us stay there for the night. Or we stayed at hostels or, I don't know, other places, Gigi, what do you remember? Yeah, we stayed in a yurta, for example, yes. in Kyrgyzstan. We stayed in Turkmenistan at the gate of hell, we stayed in a yurta as well. Yes. We spent our nights in various, various places, so you cannot categorize them by like um, high life or luxury accommodation yes. or mediums, uh, medium level or low level or low budget or... Yeah, we had a wide range of accommodations and we also used uh, platforms that allowed us to interact with people. Exactly. Because this is what we mostly wanted and for that we used applications like Couchsurfing yes. or different Facebook groups yes. or we stayed with uh, some of our dear friends we met on the road. Even in the tent, we bought a tent at one point on the long, uh, along the road and yeah, we even used the tent for camping. So it depends, but roughly uh, according to the chart, which our nice application uh, provided us, yeah. we spent around $2,000 for accommodation, which I would say is not that much considering we were traveling for the past one and a half years. What do you think, Gigi? I think also the countries we were staying in and the people we were we met have been so kind and helped us whenever we needed. Yes. And we also worked in exchange for accommodation, so a lot of times, yes. Um yeah, somehow that balanced because we were stuck in a pandemic and like the logical um action being stuck in a pandemic was to balance our budget and our expenses. So we did some work 
and I managed like not to spend that much that much on accommodation. exchange on accommodation. Exactly, yes. So for the people who are trying to do this, the same thing as we are doing, uh, I don't know. I would say two thousand dollars is like a like a budget level to budget medium level. level uh, yeah, budget expenses. medium level expenses exactly. If you're Did backpackers, you if you're backpackers, if you like adventure and you just you're just interested in finding a clean bed and and toilet shower, just like I'm a girl, I I would like to stay like in a yes. I, I need I have certain needs and like I would want to like find a clean bed and <laughs> a yes, clean shower that and would a be clean nice for you. Yeah. Me personally I don't care as long as I have a bed to sleep and the toilet to do my duties yeah. and the shower. I don't care because most of the time we spend our time outside, not inside. Unlike today, because today it's very rough outside. Yes. Anyway. Our fourth expense on the list um, is groceries with $1,736 yes and uh, this included like our trips to the supermarkets to the bazaars and shops and various places where we got uh, like uh, food items to prepare our own food to cook for ourselves basically for the time when we did not want to get food from other places and we wanted to cook it ourselves yes and uh, that was um, that was not that much. I mean, um, we did that several times in Kyrgyzstan, for example, when we were stuck in the pandemic and we wanted to do that uh, because we had to cook for ourselves and we organized like with uh, the, the other people from the hostels we were living in uh, a lot of activities like um, I don't know, cultural nights, yes, thematic nights, thematic nights, and we got the chance to show the people outside of Romania our traditional food. Yes, our cooking skills, especially Gigi's cooking skills. Yes. No, but you're really good with the barbecue. You yes. Some really nice kebabs. Well. <laughs> Moving on uh, to the um, fifth expense by um, by amount, let's say, it's um, others. Others. Exactly, yes. it's eight hundred fifty-six dollars, and that includes um, things that are not common, like in f uh, that are not food. They're not transportation. They're not accommodation or groceries. Um, yes, things like uh, car. I would say haircut or uh, laundry or I don't know uh, medical stuff when we would buy some pills or. Something like this, yes. Yeah. VPN, anything else that is not included in the... Any other expenses that you would have, you know, I don't know. Yeah, and you you need to have like a budget for that. We didn't plan a budget uh, for... Expenses, this kind of things, this, yes. This kind of things. So we have like um, a general budget of $856 for other expenses. But we're gonna uh, go on with the drinks and coffee, um, let's say, category. Yes. Um, $803 in total. Mm -hmm. um, and why did we, I mean, what do we mean by drinks and coffee? Drinks and coffee. <laughs> yes. Occasionally you would have a drink, like a beer or, I don't know, other things. And coffee or chai, especially in uh, Iran and in Pakistan where people drink a lot of chai. And yeah, this is basically, I would say, our uh, fun time category where we would uh, splurge with a little coffee or with a little tea or with a beer at the end of, the, of a long hiking day or at the end of a long uh, hitchhiking day or trail. Yes, a perfect. A beer at the end of the day is hitting perfectly exactly All the spots the sweet that spots. you need. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. And uh, that doesn't mean that, for example, in Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan, because we were traveling during um, winter in South Siberia and that was pretty cold, so we needed like some hard liquor. Yes, vodka in this and case. We had vodka. Yes, the vodka we, comes into this category as well. Yes. Which is not very expensive and, this, expensive, and this is why the budget is not very high in this category. Yes, exactly. But I would say that $800 for drinks and coffee, I think it should be okay, it's decent for one year, right? We needed a special category. <laughs> yes, uh, well, what can you say? So, uh, the next category would be shopping. 
and shopping is like $786 okay so this category includes I don't know a lot of things that we shopped around the way for example we got some t-shirts which we, you saw the ones were written on them Dodo Explorers uh, we bought some perfume some telephone cables and whatnot basically things that we would buy in the shop for ourselves and in Iran for example well I had a scarf from home which I used as a hijab to cover my head but I also needed like two long coats because uh, in Iran you have to wear a certain like attire uh, not to stand out from the crowd and respect all the yes. uh, legal things in the country legal customs and things like that or the customs or the yeah the law uh, so I had to get some something traditional from there and like yeah we also got a lot a of carpet carpet for them, which uh, you're seeing right now this from one Iran. we were staying on yes this one we got in Iran and this was a little bit of a splurge because it was a little bit expensive not that much but decent I would say yeah well I love Iranian carpets honestly let me arrange a little bit the camera okay I think we had enough about shopping we can go straight into the other uh, category, which would be sightseeing and activities. Yes, so sightseeing and activities. Uh, this is basically when we would go to various places, various temples, various, uh, I don't know, churches or attractions or places where they basically ask you uh, for a ticket. Or yes. when, when, for example, when we went to Iran, the museum taxes and the visiting the mosques and the historical buildings and Persepolis and uh, when we went through Armenia, for example, with the guided tours of the city to understand more of the city and when we visited a lot of, like in nagorno karabakh that area between uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan, yes. which it was called Artsakh when we visited it. Um, we had to go there and visit some things. We also paid the tickets and the entrance, and yeah, there's a lot of things we we had to, we wanted to visit, and for that, yeah, of course, you have to pay a ticket, so that was okay. Or activities, for example, when we rented the bike in Iran, or uh, an ATV through the desert, or oh, some yeah. tours, or I don't know, various activities that you can imagine. Basically, they are into this. They are bundled in this category so we went by horse in Kyrgyzstan and to a big lake and yes uh, we went to the okra in Uzbekistan and there were a lot of things we experienced that was really, really yeah interesting. that was something special so this is I would say the most the, where the fun part comes in I mean where you go to explore things where you go to have fun next one would be Vidas yes 713 dollars that for 10 countries, I think it's like quite much. Yes. You ask me. Uh, I mean, we went to visit uh, Central Asia, South Asia, but yeah, we had to. Vi we visited some countries that are not that uh, popular. Le let's say it honestly, like in the tourism industry, um, we had to pay a visa. Where did we pay for the visa? In Turkmenistan, we also paid for the visa. In Turkmenistan, the hardest. Yes one of the hardest visas in the world, yes. like the second hardest visa in the world. Which was pretty much cheap. Uh, yeah, in Iran we paid $160 for the visa, for the both of us. Yeah, there you go. So it's like $80 for uh, each of us. In Pakistan we paid also a lot for the visa because we extended it a lot of times and every time we would extend it we would pay $20 more each. Yeah. So, and there we had a whole situation with the visa and whatnot. So, yeah, it depends on where, which countries you go to, uh, these costs might be higher, these costs might be lower, in our case it was $700, mm, yeah, it's pretty yeah. high, but I, there was no other way of going around them. Exactly, I mean for our passport and our, like, uh, I think it's pretty high, 
uh, Romania doesn't have like the best passport in the world, of course. Yes. But we know countries that uh, have to pay even more for the visa, so yeah. Yes, so but this is more or less random. Yeah, exactly. You don't get to choose, yeah. Yes, it depends on where you're coming from and yeah, for example, in Kazakhstan, we there was no visa for us. No visa policies or in Georgia or in Uzbekistan. But on the other hand, in Kyrgyzstan, by, for example, we had to pay a $50 visa even though we are from the European Union. And citizens of the European Union don't get to pay visa for Kyrgyzstan. It's it's more complicated. It's more complicated. We're so not gonna go into politics. Yes, anyway. it is what it is. Yeah. And last but not least, we have fees, which is basically, uh, I would say, exchange fees or uh, various times when we had to pay some money. Uh, what do you think about this, Georgiana? Well, what should um, let's um, remember almost 400 bucks for this fees. 387 yes, 400 dollars yes. uh, for this. That was like when the police stopped us and we had to pay a fine, or like when we had to pay money for different occasions. Like I, I don't know, like official kind of occasions, not something yes. like or random stuff. For the money that we had in our wallet when it got stolen. Oh yeah. That was true. also added in this category and various other things that we yeah, we paid basically for stuff. Exchange fees from when we exchanged money. At that time in Turkmenistan when I exchanged money at the uh, official exchange rate rather than the unofficial one on the street which got me a $90 yeah, a surprise! Charging yes. Travel spam. Yes. So, if you need more information about how to travel to Turkmenistan, you can go check out our blog because we updated everything right there. Yes, and we on the explorers.com, and you can check it in the description, as Michael told you. Yes, of course. So yeah, uh, this would be basically our categories overview. Now it's time for the grand total and for the expenses per countries. So, dum 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 dum. <laughs> okay, Gigi, what do you think about this one? Well, what should I think about? I, I mean, we've been in 10 countries. We included um, Dubai, I think, United Arab Emirates, and yes. Romania, because we've been staying already one, for one month here. Yes. Um, so, that would be fair. That's like for one year and a half. Uh, we should start with the lowest expense first, I think, and then uh, let's see what to, what was the most expensive country we visited. Yes, so, so we the most the lowest expensive one would be the UAE. Yeah. Yes, UAE. With we stayed there for a layover. We didn't yeah. stay much. We just stayed basically one day there, and yeah, that's why we only one spent one day or two days maybe when we were crossing to Pakistan much. and then, or that was Qatar. I I don't remember exactly. Like it's not our first visit to UAE, but just in this trip. It was like the least expensive country, seventy-eight dollars. Yes. Then the next one would be Turkmenistan. Yes, uh, Turkmenistan, one hundred seventy-two dollars. Mm. One hundred seventy-two dollars. As I said, ninety dollars were spent by me on the stupid thing. Yeah. Yes, because I was not paying attention. I tried to exchange money, take money from the ATM without paying attention, and mm, yeah, not a good well, idea. Things happen, it's not like uh, the end of the world, but there were like, uh, we stayed five days there. We got a transit visa for five days, yes. and this is how we spent like $172. Yes. Which is not expensive at all because we hitchhiked a lot as well. Yes, so basically the real cost would be like $70, but well. Anyway, uh, Armenia was the next country on the list, which was our second visited country, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, that's true. Yes. Here well, we spent a night in a hostel, mostly, and we visited around town, we took some tour guides. And yes, and I think this cost also includes our visit to from Armenia to Nagorno-Karabakh yes. to Artsakh. Um, I, I don't want to go into politics, I'm just saying what we did. Yes. And uh, this is like also included in there. Yes, the bus, bus transportation over there and accommodation yes. and whatnot that we did around yeah. there. Read our blog on dodoexplorers.com yes. because that's one beautiful We have story. more information there. <laughs> Good, the next one would be Georgia, which was the first country on our list. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, here as I said in the beginning we started staying at uh, accommodations basically where we got them on booking.com If you want to use that one you can check in the description our link mm -hmm. Yes, and we also use a little bit of Airbnb which yes. you can also find in the description Yes and, and in Georgia we spent a total of? $534 dollars. $534 yes. Yeah, which is okay Yeah For 10 days how much that was? I think so. I mean, two weeks, I think, I think it was. Yeah, maybe 14 days. Okay, uh, Gigi? The next country, uh, we didn't stay that much in it as well. I think maybe three weeks or something in Azerbaijan. And yes. we stayed with Airbnb and um, I don't think we stayed with Couchsurfing. No, we stayed only with Airbnb yeah. and we met a nice guy there, Eshvan. Hi. And uh, we stayed more or less with him. Uh, but here the expenses were a little bit higher because uh, I would say uh, out of all the Caucasus countries, Azerbaijan is a little bit more expensive. So you can see it also on the list. The yeah. uh, day to day life here is a little bit more expensive. There was like a, one entry to a museum was $15 per person, and there was like one Japanese tourist coming there. He was checking it. Uh, he was checking the price at the entrance then and then he was like, why? Why? Uh, just a tower. I'm not for something to go up and down and that's it. Yeah, exactly. So, more or less be careful if you go to Azerbaijan in the old center, there are a lot of tourist traps. Watch out, some of them are worth it, some of them are very expensive and not But it's a very beautiful country yes. uh, because it, it you can see a lot of investment in the structure and they uh, Baku, try to yes. you know, modernize it a lot. Good, uh, the next one would be... Uzbekistan is our country where we spent uh, $709 and we stayed one month or maybe a little bit more there. It was amazing, we met a lot of beautiful people and we used Couchsurfing and we used Airbnb and we used hotels and we hostels, hostels and... and we stayed in a mosque there <laughs> overnight in the mosque and it was so so beautiful. But, Kyrgyzstan was uh, in the mosque. In, yeah? Okay. Yes, that was big. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. yes. Well, we stayed in a mosque somewhere. <laughs> yes, was in exactly. Library. So, uh, the next country will be Kazakhstan. Here we also spent one month, and this one is $779. It's a little bit more expensive. Here we went for a snowboarding trip. And we visited the mountains and basically we visited the southern part of Kazakhstan because we wanted to cross then afterwards into Kyrgyzstan. But yeah, this is uh, not a bad expense for Kazakhstan. Here the people were super nice, super amazing. They were one of the nicest people that we met in the whole of Central Asia. Yes, exactly. In Kazakhstan, amazing, amazing. Okay. Thank you, Sultan. Thank, thank you, you Sultan, <laughs> and thank you, uh, Anwar, and thank you, all the nice people of Kazakhstan that we meet you, and maybe we forgot to mention you. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, next one is Romania. Yes. Yeah. So we came back to our country. We spent so far one month and a half here. This also includes the uh, plane ticket when we bought it from here towards Georgia. So maybe that's why it's a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's uh, the total is one thousand one hundred seventy-seven dollars. Yes. And uh, yeah, we've been staying mostly inside the, the and we inside the house. We've been paying a lot for a lot of documents and renewals and a lot of things. Yes, and for food and for various things. Yes. Yeah. For two people, I think that's decent, but it could also be less because yeah, you don't need that much maybe per month. Exactly. Good, so the next country on the list is Iran. Iran, one month and a half in the beautiful, beautiful country of Iran, $2,175. I don't regret every any single cent spent over there. I don't regret it in other countries as well, but in Iran, I, I wish I could have spent more over there. Yes. And maybe I will come back soon with some like empty luggage and fill it out. There is a little small issue or I would say thing that you need to consider when you're going to Iran, you have to bring cash with you. Yeah. Otherwise you end up in our situation where you are left without cash and because uh, of the current political situation there, the bank account, banking cards are not working, so Visa and Mastercard are not working. Yes. 
and well you have to bring your cash if you're out of cash then you will have to resort to finding a way to get some cash yes and in our case we found some nice people like Iga, like Vega, uh, Vega. Yeah. yes, and they were nice enough uh, to help us with uh, some money, some cash. We basically transferred them some money and then they gave us our some friends cash. from Finland. They have been really amazing. Yes, and, uh, Simon, yes, and Simon our friends from Mexico, yeah. and yes, I they don't come to me into my mind right now. Everyone, everyone. It, we could have made the expenses a little bit smaller if we would have traveled we have used couch surfing a little bit more but we were at the beginning back then we didn't know how the couch surfing platform was working we spent time mostly in hostels and uh, rented the car rented the car and it was okay it's not that bad I mean it was beautiful it was beautiful yes so the next one would be Pakistan. Pakistan. And in Pakistan, we spent eight months here. Yes. Uh, this is the place where most of you guys know us from. And uh, yeah, because here we started vlogging. Yes, exactly. We started vlogging and in Pakistan we had expenses like um, accommodation, uh, food, like all of the all, all of the expenses we told you like in the first part of the video we yes. also did them in Pakistan but here we were also lucky because we met amazing people on the way and from the couch surfing community as well exactly. and Zishan they for example in Karachi uh, and his friends Shay, Shay Jean, Jean Jalal, Jalal. In Karachi yes and in Multan our friends there Shaji and Jamibai and Zishan also Yes, yes. in Peshawar, Meran. They were not from Kausar. They were not from Kausar. No, yes. Exactly. Zijan was from Kausar in Karachi, yes, and he introduced us basically to all of our friends. Yeah, but like um, we met a lot of friendly people on the way. Yes. We didn't know before, we didn't have any contact with them before, and they were super, super cute and very helpful. And we hope to repay their, their gestures and time. And their kindness, of course. Good, uh, and the last country on our list is Kyrgyzstan, surprisingly, Kyrgyzstan! yes, <laughs> here we spent the most amount of money, yes, uh, even though we spent here only six months, so less than Pakistan, we managed to somehow spend more money here, Yeah. yes, um, basically $3,600 in Kyrgyzstan, $3,620 Yes And uh, the prices, I think they're similar to the ones in India, maybe? Because yeah, the the, they have the same similar. exchange rate Yes yeah. And um, Kyrgyzstan was amazing, we did a lot of activities We got Corona there We were stuck in the pandemic over there We yes, worked also over corona. there I got Corona <laughs> And we worked over there and we tried to balance our expenses as much as possible We, But we kind of like, we loved it Yes That was really beautiful Exactly. It was nice. Yes, and we spent on accommodation. As accommodation-wise, we stayed mostly in, ho in hostels. We s stayed in a mosque. We stayed with other people. We s used here. We decided we can do everything. Everything. Yes. Here we went like outside of the comfort zone, and we explored more or less everything. And in Pakistan as well. So this is the point on our travels where we started becoming less. Uh, attached to an accommodation and rather more attached to uh, activity and to doing something fun yes. and we did some tenting thing. yeah yeah some tent, tenting uh, we tent, camping yes we did, we did some camping <laughs> yes here we bought our our tent and here we did some camping and we went to the Lenin peak and base camp and it's a lot of nice places where we camped to the Alakul lake very right. nice places yes mountain places for her camping so the total for this trip one year and a half ten countries two people yes. is oh thirteen thousand dollars thirteen thousand dollars yes which is i don't know is it a lot is it not a lot you should you have to tell us what's the daily budget for this the daily average it was around twenty two dollars twenty two dollars per yes, day yes it kept going up and down it depends on our expenses Yes. yes, when we started this trip, we accounted for basically a $50 budget and we ended up with a $22 budget, which and is yeah. decent. It's like 
for two people for traveling like middle level, low budget to middle level, like people can also go like full to the extreme and spend way less than that. Yes. So don't be discouraged. If you guys want to travel, you don't need a huge budget. This is a very important message. Just go out, do volunteer work, do get involved in the local communities, do some help, help the people around you and uh, in the exchange you're gonna be able to explore the local culture and you don't need a fortune to do this right yes of course and you can manage it very easily as you saw yes yeah. we decided to like go and explore the world yes and i think this was a good idea yes we managed to see some very nice things we saw some incredible places met the nicest people along the way and made a couple of memories that is gonna last us for a lifetime. So let's th see this year how it's gonna be like because we wanna travel to some other areas. Thank you for watching We're Dodo Explorers. If yes. you like this video, please consider subscribing. Yes, hit that like button and have fun and see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> bye. bye, 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 bye.